The Annapolis community is coming together this week to help the family of a shooting victim. Six people were shot during a birthday party outside of a home on Paddington Place. This was back in June. Three of the victims were killed, including a father and son. Tomorrow kicks off a major effort to raise money to help the widow of one of those victims. News 4's Joseph Olmo has that story. This is the story of a wife and an entire family whose lives were changed in an instant, just one summer night in Annapolis. Now, months later, the entire community coming around them again to make sure they don't lose anything else. Sandra Perez is proud of her home and her eight children who live inside. She says they grew up and have everything here, though since June 11th of this year, one person has not been there. Él ha sido un buen padre, buen esposo, y siempre lo voy a recordar cada momento. Her husband of over 10 years, Nicolás Mireles. In June 11th, in Annapolis, it was like a big dark cloud that came to our city, our beautiful city. 10 to 12 subjects shot. It was a birthday party gone terribly wrong. A dispute over parking spaces was what allegedly caused a neighbor to start shooting killing Nicolas, his son Mario, and another friend, Christian. It's a human being that do not have any respect for other human beings and make the suffer of others, not just the kids, the wife, the father, the family. They all suffer from this. That's Susana Cruz. She works with St. Mary's Catholic Parish in Annapolis in their Guadalupe ministry. When she met Sandra, she knew the burden was already a lot. Eight kids, now no father. We can just kind of erase the mortgage from the rest of the stuff that you have to do for your family. It will be a great thing to do for them. An ambitious goal to raise nearly $250,000 to completely pay off the family's house in nearby Odenton. Now that their father, who worked to support it, is gone. Perdieron, perdieron a su papá y perder la casa. Sandra says she does not want her kids to go through another loss. And so the mission begins. No easy feat to raise that much money. But tomorrow, a fundraising event to get the ball rolling. I'm just begging everybody, please help this family. Please help ourselves. Please show our love. A community coming together to provide hope when this family thought it was all lost. Joseph Oma, News 4. The Anne Arundel County State's Attorney's Office says Smith is facing 42 charges, including three counts of first-degree murder and hate crimes related to that mass shooting. He's being held without bond.